we're here at the Corning booth and we're going to talk a little bit about um, Gorilla Glass NBT, which is our new product that we're introducing into the notebook market for touch-enabled displays. What we have here is a demonstration to show you the performance of retained strength of the surface as well as of the edges of glass that are used in the market today compared to Gorilla Glass NBT. So what we've done is we've simulated displays by mounting glass onto these plastic frames so that we have similar flexibility to actual displays and are simulating cover glasses of soda lime at 0.7 millimeters and we have Corning Gorilla Glass NBT at 0.4 millimeters to show that we can go even thinner with Gorilla Glass NBT and show that we still re retain our high, um, high retained strength and high damage resistance. So what we've done is if you, if you um, if you chart to correlate cleaning of your device and how you can put scratches in a touch-enabled device, we know people are going to clean it very often. And when you do a light cleaning, you can see that somewhere around 300 grams is a very light cleaning on the surface. Now, people's cleaning cloth is they do get dirty, they do get debris in them. And so what we're simulating in the demo here is we've put scratches in the corner of each of these samples. We've used 300 grams as a load simulating a light cleaning with a diamond and denner just to simulate a sharp object, very fine particle being in your cleaning cloth. What we're going to do is actually show if you're handling your, your touch-enabled device, bending and small torsion events are commonly, can commonly happen. In this case, we have our soda lime glass at 0.7 millimeters, and if I bend that, it's very easily broken. And this shows that there's very low, low retained strength with soda lime glass. And we can do this same exact thing with Gorilla Glass NBT with 0.4 millimeter, the first thing I'd like to note is it's very difficult to see the scratch in this particular case, and that's because of the native damage resistance we have in the glass. We can try to bend this, and again, we can't get this to break, but it was very easy to get it to break with the soda lime glass. And we're getting that scratch right inside of the bend. So that shows the retained strength of the surface and the benefit of using a damage resistant glass like Gorilla Glass NBT. Now also for these touch-enabled displays, the edge strength is very important to the handleability and the overall reliability of the device. A soda lime cover glass can have very low edge strength. And I'm going to use this pencil to kind of show you how weak that it is. If I take this and just push down, I can actually create a very easy break in the edge of that glass. And I can do it differently. I can push down with the pen, pencil this way and create that break very easily. And these, these are the kinds of local events that you might encounter if you were to take, say, a pencil and close the lid of your laptop. Say you push down, don't have to push very hard, you can create a break very easily. Now if we do the same thing with Gorilla Glass NBT, remember we're 0.4 millimeters in this case, we can try to do the same events. We can't get it to break. We can push on it. We can do the same thing as if you were closing the lid. You can see we have much higher edge strength as well. Both of these demos that I've showed you today really lend themselves to the overall reliability of a touch-enabled notebook and improving it if you're using Gorilla Glass NBT.